Minasan, konnichiwa. It has been a long time since I've made any updates. I have gotten four new dresses since then, and I have not done any individual reviews on them. So today I'd just like to show you very quickly what I've gotten, some of the accessories that go with them, and tell you a few of the things that I like about them, and maybe about a few items that I don't like so much. Uh, let's start with what I'm wearing right now. It was supposed to be for a December 5th IDL meet, but it arrived a week late, and that is totally my fault. I did not email her sooner. Total miscommunication on my part, but it is also from Souffle Song, like my first dress. Oh. <laughs> I have this really cute deer purse to go with it. Deer. It has a shoulder strap, or I can use it as a hand. It has little handbag things, but I like it better over the shoulder since it's such a large bag anyway and letting it hang lower. Um, the end of my skirt here has several colors of blue in it that are picked up in the bag. Um, my headdress here I got from Claire's, as a matter of fact, and it's little crystal encrusted antlers. The bows I got from a bridal shop. So they are pale blue and the white behind it. And it has little rhinestone, yeah, rhinestones on the white part in the back, which sort of echoes back to my shoes, which I'll show you better, a little bit better in a moment. I like this dress a whole bunch. <laughs> I am playing up from the little bit of red in the bow there, but I might change it out to a blue bow later. It has the exact same anchor buttons as my other one from Supply Song, which they don't match at all. So I might change them out with these really cute uh, white snowflake buttons that I have. And the shoes. Oh, and my tights are from Moofish. And they are the ones that are the lace pattern, the very solid, the solid but subtle lace pattern ones. And the shoes are the ones that have the little pearl strap, double bows with the sparkles on the front bow. Boo. I like them. They're comfy. They don't have any problems in them. And I got my navy pair to replace the ones that I ordered the first time that were too small. So I went with a simpler design with one bow. I like that it has the little scallop there. And the thing I did not know about Lolita shoes, because I barely tried on the other ones, it's like, yeah, not fitting, is this. I wish they did this on all shoes with buckles, because eventually, over time, you start to make this area ratty from pulling it in and pushing it out every time you want to take, on, take off or put on your shoes. So I really love the snaps on the straps. This is my favorite thing about the shoes so far. Also, this pair, perfect, no problems at all, no errors. The second dress that I got after my Prague astronomical clock is this dress from Victorian Maiden. I think it was released in 2009. I can't think of the name right now, but I will find it and put it in the description. It looks a lot pinker in its stock photos, but it is incredibly dust pink colored. It's hard to match, but I got these really cute leather shoes that I'm not going to be able to grab to go with it. These are real leather, and it has that sort of scalloped edge. And these, their soles are actually like gel comfort soles. So these are incredibly comfortable Lolita shoes. I love them so much. The purse that I got to go with this is an adorable picnic style purse. And I hope to get a nice country style hat to wear it this summer. My second dress I'm going to be very careful with because I don't even store this with my Lolita dresses. I store it with my regular clothes because this is my casual visiting people who have badly behaved pets or smoke in their houses. It is body line. I like it a lot. I don't want to wear any of my Lolita blouses with it, so I got this cute little short shrug. It perfectly ends right near the 
into the bust area when it's on. It's great. It was like $9 from Target. And I don't have to worry about crying a million tears if I'm wearing this dress and something happens because I'll just wash it instead of having to take it to the dry cleaners. Or the cleaners in general. This is the... What number are we on? Fourth? Fourth dress I bought? Star Emissary in Dreamland. It's cats and stars and it's navy. I love this dress. I think I am definitely a person that loves navy colorways. I have... I can wear my shoes, my navy shoes with it. Right now I'm wearing solid white tights when I wear it because it has this nice crisp white collar. But I might get some cuter ones with stars. I have my eye on them right now. I'm going to investigate and see if the company is any good before I order them. But they're mostly white with these little pale colored stars, which will match well with the pale colored stars on here. It's, I wore it to a one-day anime convention that I, was being, that I was staffing. So I put this really cute little stuffed cat on my head. But without the stuffed cat on my head, it... It's amazingly casual, yet cute at the same time. It's, it's adorable, but it doesn't stand out too much, even with a petticoat on underneath it. I am absolutely loving the stuff that I'm getting, except this wig, which I want to be angry at them, but they they did right by me at the end. They refunded, they refunded, they refunded my money. So I can't be angry. They admitted that they made the mistake, but I asked them, what color is the the wig in the stock picture? They're like raspberry brown. And I was like, uh, that sounds kind of dark. Uh, are you sure? And they're like, yeah, that's raspberry brown. So I ordered raspberry brown, and I got exactly what I expected. Raspberry brown. Which, it was more of like a milk tea colored wig in the stock picture. And these are supposed to be shorter and curlier, cuter, which I might be able to recurl these myself, but I, I'm i not entirely sure now if the Etsy Dreamholic store is legit or not because of this. I, I don't know if I want to try them again, so if you have any recommendations for good wig stores, please let me know. Um, not cosplay wigs, but Lolita wigs. The ones that are going to come in the more natural colors and maybe cutesy pre-styled. So today I've just pinned up some of my hair behind my clips to add a tiny bit of volume to my incredibly flat, straight hair. And ta -da. so this would be dress number five in this year. And I'm very happy with it. I am very happy with most all of my purchases. And I am in love with the fashion more than ever. I hope to be doing more on Lace Market and getting secondhand dresses because my experience with two of them, the Victorian Maiden and the Star Emissary in Dreamland, was wonderful. So I don't see any point in not buying secondhand from somebody who has good reviews, who doesn't forget to mention stains. Neither of mine had any odors or problems that weren't mentioned. There's one little little error on one of my dresses, but you probably didn't even notice it. Nobody ever would. So I hope to be getting a lot more dresses this next year. I am going to wean back on buying dresses for a little bit because I want to build a new gaming computer. But after that, I'm full on. So if you have any tips about um, when the sales happen, I didn't know that 11.11 was a big sale. I missed the perfect time to buy Halloween dresses too. So if you, if you know some tips or tricks on when the good sales are, leave those below in the comments. If you have any concrete on my outfit today, leave those in the comments. If you have any suggestions for how I can make these videos better, please tell me. I hope you enjoyed getting to see some of the stuff that I got, and I hope to leave more videos for you soon. <laughs> Bye.